What's up? We just filmed a podcast with Jack from What It Takes blog, but we're about to go to Westminster to go check out the mall. Apparently it's abandoned. I think the only thing that is still open in that mall is the Cinnabon, but I'm really curious because there was a two-story Target attached to it, the Lens Crafter, where I would go get my eyes checked out were there, so now I'm just really curious. So let's go to the mall, and we're gonna get some food. I'm really hungry, I haven't eaten all day. And there's this new spaghetti spot. I'm big on pasta right now, right? I'm all about uh, pasta party you saw in the last vlog. Shout out to them in Orange, California, but there's a new spot that just opened up in Westminster, so I'm just happy that this is all lining up. We'll go to the abandoned mall, and we'll go to the spaghetti spot. I think it's called Wow Spaghetti, if I remember correctly. But curious to see how this is all gonna play out, but let's go check it out. Let's get it. All right, we're at this quote unquote abandoned mall, which walking in does not feel abandoned. Okay, we're in the quote unquote abandoned mall, but this is way more populated than I was led on to believe. It's pretty sad state in here, but it's not abandoned. But let's go check it out. Let's see what the vibes are. We're just sitting first floor. I can't get a stable shot because the random services um, but this mall is not abandoned. I was expecting like some really sad, dark, decrepit stuff, but this is still an active mall. There's just like 10 people here. Um, not a whole lot of stores open behind me. You can see those used to be entrances to what was either like Sears or JC Penney's, one of those types of stores. Um, but they completely shut it off. Uh, maybe the optics didn't look so well if there was just darkness at the end. So I get it. They're trying to mask it with some like weird advertisements, but we're at one end of the mall. Let's go check the other. Let's just walk through and see if we can find anything interesting because right now I see there's a Vans open. GameStop is still popping. The Lens Crafter that I talked about earlier still open i thought this was just going to be really dark and grim and i was really curious about how target would close the stores but everything's still open here there's just a couple shops that are closed but let's go check it out all right in conclusion this mall's not abandoned it's just a sad state. Not as sad as I remember, but pretty sad. Anyways, we're going to Target to check out the K-pop section, see what the vibes are like out here in Westminster, because obviously the Target by my house, things get raided really fast. So hopefully the section here is a lot better than we're used to. We'll check it out and see what vibes they're rocking with. But in the end, the mall's not abandoned. Population's just low. All right, here we are in the K-pop section. This one's a little picked over. We got Stray Kids, some of the old new jeans. You know the vibes, we got Twice. There's Jihyo, Sana, Nyan, Chewy. And it's just all dupes after that. Um, now we got the Blue Books, but Pretty typical for your K-pop section in Target. The masses come here, they get crazy, but I'm trying to get my hands on that Kiss of Life album. Uh, it's sold out, but I got some on the way. But I'm definitely looking forward to the new Itzy, new end mix. It's gonna be awesome. I'm still a JYP soldier. I tried something new at the coffee shop today. Summer, 
it's hella hot out. I was melting in my room, so we tried this new grapefruit aid cooler. Normally I go with a summer peach vibe, but haven't had grapefruit in a while, so I decided to try out. I decided to try it out, excuse me. It's a vibe. I feel like I haven't had anything bad from this coffee shop. The best coffee shop in the world, Insight Coffee, here at the Source in Buena Park. Please, if you're ever in Orange County, do yourself a favor, hit my line, let's go, and then we can get some cool drinks together. But yeah, we're here at the Source. I wanted to go get spaghetti, but turns out that the spaghetti spot is closed on Mondays of all days. All my favorite pasta places are closed on Monday. Pasta Party, shout out to Pasta Party. You saw the owner in the last vlog, but they're closed on Mondays. Now the new spaghetti spot's closed on Mondays. So I just went and got a burrito, California burrito to be exact, and a potato taco. Just normal vibes, Mexican food, you can never go wrong. But I went home and I watched an episode of My 19th Life and man, Hopefully you can't see my my eyes are all puffy because it just got too emotional. You know, at some points I wonder where these moments are going to be where I can relate and get all my feels. And the end of this last episode was it, man. These K dramas are amazing, but had a crazy day. I, I'm still baffled at the fact that the mall that I went to was not abandoned. It was a normal mall, just some sad vibes, but. At least we went to go debunk it. So for anyone else who might have been curious, save you some time. It was a mission to get out there. Traffic was bad. Avoid Western and Chapman. That's where I got held up. But it's another day. We're here. Happy that Insight's open. But we're about to go home and watch another episode of My 19th Life. Or maybe hit some ranked Street Fighter 6. You saw in the last vlog, I hit plat three, you know, threw a little clip in there for you guys. We're on that Marissa grind, we're still waiting for Rashid. Uh, but I did hit plat four, so we're going for plat five, and then Diamond, and then Masters, and then we're on the road to Evo. You know the vibes. We're trying to take it home for the West Coast, for America. Let's check it out. Sun setting. Let's go check it out. Go get a cool shot. See the lighting here? Look how beautiful that is. But we'll get a nice little time lapse for you guys. We're on my Casey Neistat shit.